The boy's name is Liang, and he worked in a farming village in China. And he had had a dream that somebody left him a magic paintbrush. And he decided that anything he would paint, he would paint to make things better for everyone around him. Well, the farm village was going through a rough drought. Does anybody know what a drought is? No water, right? And because it was a farming village, all the crops needed water. So he drew something like this. It's a stream or it's a river. Well, the next day when all the farmers woke up, there was a stream running through the village that could water all of the crops. That was kind of neat. Well, Liang then went out because everybody had water, but they needed something to eat. So Liang thought about drawing something like this. Chicken. Very good. Have you read this book? The Annie the Magic Paintbrush. Have you read the book? Okay. Well, it looks a little bit more like a chicken. It does. Now, what do you think they got from the chicken? Eggs. Very good. Every show I do, somebody says fried chicken. No one got them fried chicken. They got eggs. Now they had sustenance so that they could eat and keep working in the farms. Well, one day an evil man heard, he was an emperor, he heard about Liang's paintbrush, and he stole it. And he tried. He invited all his friends over for a party, and he tried to show them that anything he drew, he could make come true. But anything he drew, nothing happened. So he went and he got Liang, he kidnapped him, and he said, I need you to use this paintbrush and draw me gold and riches. And Liang said, okay, and he drew this. The man said, that looks like the sea. And Liang said, yeah, I'm not done. He says, those are mountains in the distance. He said, yeah, I'm not done. Almost. <laughs> he drew a third mountain way off in the distance. And he told him that the mountain was made of gold. And the emperor said, but I'm all the way over here, and the mountain's over there. Liang said, I can help you with that, and he drew this. A big boat. And the evil emperor got into the boat with all of his friends, and they piled in, and as they were sailing across to the mountain of gold, does anybody know what Liang drew? Sure. A storm, very good, and a big wave came up and did what? Crashed the boat down to the bottom of the sea. And then the rest of the townspeople, Liang was able to use his paintbrush for good for all the townspeople, and the evil emperor never bothered the farm again. Now that is my version of the story. Now I told you in the beginning of this that we were going to make some drawings come true. Are you ready? No. Who said no? What was the very first drawing? Well, what, what was the last drawing that Liang made? Gold. The gold. Very good. So, no, that wasn't it. So the very last drawing he made was the gold. Now, can you guys do me a favor and blow on the gold? You will? Here we go. Blow on the gold. Here we go. Watch what happens. Sit down, please. All right. And that was the gold. Now, what was the second thing? That's right. And what do we get from the chicken? Now I don't want you to worry, this wasn't laid this isn't a real egg, it was laid by a decoy. 
That's for the parents. <laughs> Miss Mary gets that one. That works out well. And then what was the very first drawing that Leanne drew? Uh, uh, he drew the river so that all the people would have what for their crops? A water. Blow on the water? No way. I'm real thankful that we didn't blow on the egg because if you blow on the egg, it would turn to a real egg, a real egg instead of a fake one, and then I'd have a real money. Who blew? I heard that. Now you now you've done it. And that's the story of Liang and the magic paintbrush.